We have been enjoying a lot of cocktails as of late here at About Beverages, which um, is something we always throw out there that we're like, oh, we should make this drink. We should do this. And then it usually turns into that we have to buy 900 different ingredients that we don't have, or right. do we actually want to keep it on hand? Uh, and thankfully, after buying the last few ingredients, a lot of things have been popping up on TikTok that seem to know I have those ingredients hmm. and then only need like one more thing. It's like, hey, I know. I, I think they're listening. It could be. Uh, we did all those podcasts uh, involving Amaro and trying different Amaros and trying Negronis and Boulevardiers and all these different drinks with those. And uh, shockingly, now we're getting more drinks that involve those ingredients, but they're things we currently have. We are going to have a mixed drink. Let's give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverage we're about today, the cocktail we're about today, is Ooh, the yeah. siesta. Correct. Uh, this has been described as the Hemingway daiquiri meets a margarita uh, in a classic cocktail. This is going to involve some Amaro, Campari. Uh, it's also going to involve some tequila, some grapefruit juice, lime juice, simple syrup. I think that's it. Is that it? I think that's it. That's that sounds said, that yeah. sounds like I enough. brought the grapefruit. Andrew had everything else. I did happen to have everything else. Well, the I have the like I said the Amaro. Thanks to you though, because you gave me the rest of one of your bottles. I have. <laughs> I did like, enjoy. You want that the was, bottom third of this? I'm like, okay. That was definitely my uh, my beverage of the summer. Was the Amaro and and uh, and sparkling water. It was a little it Amaro was spritz quite, kind of thing. Yeah, or? refreshing and delicious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go uh, make this cocktail. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk about it, and uh, hopefully this uh, maybe hits the spot as we go. I know it's not technically a fall cocktail but for some reason when i saw it it made me think of fall and autumn again like the one we did a few weeks ago if you missed out on that head into the archives at aboutbeverages.com or on youtube for any of that kind of stuff so uh should we go make a drink we'll be right back yeah all right well we are back cocktails uh, at least uh, for me oh okay both of us in hand in here. hand i had uh, a feeling that's where you were going i know <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I get uh it. Very pretty color. Like I said, obviously just kind of a nice light pink. Yep. With, uh, freshly squeezed lime grape, lime juice, freshly squeezed grapefruit juice, simple syrup. Uh, like I said, and uh, the Amaro. Uh, we have the Pronto one from Trader Joe's. Tequila. What else? Tequila else in there? And simple syrup. Uh, the tequila I used, actually, thank you for asking, okay. is the uh, El Tequileño uh, okay. that we did a few weeks ago. Yep. It is an additive free tequila. It is a Reposado. Uh, and it was uh, under 30 bucks, usually around 27 or 28 bucks. Uh, like I said, highly recommend that one. It was really good. I mean, we need to do some more tequila things as well. And this came to you through TikTok, this recipe. Came Correct. to me through TikTok. I hey. saw someone enjoying a beverage and I was like, and all I do is I start seeing them on them. I'm like, I've got that. I've got that. I've got that. And then I save it. And then about like a few days later, I send it to Keith. I'm like, hey, what do you think of this? He's like, a cocktail. Let's go. Of course. <laughs> of course. About beverages is all about the cocktail right now. Exactly. Uh, to the aroma? Yeah. Let's go. This is going to sound weird because I think the last couple times that we have done cocktails, they've just been part of our larger podcast that we've done. I don't remember us actually going like an aroma for the Probably cocktail. Probably not. That sounds really strange. But like, <laughs> it's a good thing, though, because I the tequila to me is really coming through. Yep. And actually... For the small amount, there's only a half ounce total between both of our drinks, so a quarter ounce per drink uh, of the Amaro. That's actually coming through a little bit. Like I'm getting some of it probably with the grapefruit juice, that kind of uh, bitter herbal kind of quality. What are you, what are you I, getting? You know, in there? I just I get the tequila. I get some citrus. It, to me, it smells like a uh, like a margarita. I don't really. I'm not picking up on the Amaro. Okay. But I'm like I said. Yeah. There's something in the herbal flavor that I'll seems to be it. coming through. Maybe yeah. maybe I have a little bit of a. I'm always a little scared of that yeah. one. I'm like, oh, I can smell I can, it. <laughs> it's in there, isn't it? You can smell it a mile away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it, the bottle's in there. I didn't even pour it in <laughs> yeah, there. Exactly. I didn't even use it. This, yeah. is, this is a red wine. I just wave it near No, it. you yeah. had this near it, didn't you? <laughs> oh, man. Osmosis. Right. To the taste? Yep. All right. So I got the Amaro now. Definitely. But it's still subtle to mm -hmm. me. But it does give a little bitter to it. Mm -hmm. So it kind of stops you from just wanting to pound that but that's a very oddly complex yet delicious and easy to drink beverage so you like this i do like it this is delicious yeah that's very good this is fantastic yeah and th i think the this is going to sound really weird <laughs> the amaro i i like the way it's blended in there but that's what actually helps it not be completely crushable that's what i was just saying and i think yeah. that's actually a good thing yeah because you, it kind of makes you take like an extra second in just say like and i love a good margarita and that can be complex in its own way but usually that's very much like oh that's so good and this has that but because of the amaro and some of the other things it makes you savor everything a little bit more and you get all of those different flavors just blended so well this is yeah this is delicious makes you take a little extra rest 
in between sips. Yeah, exactly. It does, a and that's siesta. a good thing. In yeah. between the shifts. A little between, siesta. Oh a siesta God, in between. Look what he's done here. A siesta, siesta. No, that's professional that's, cocktail that's podcaster very good. right here. Keith going for the uh, siesta. Would you do anything else to it? Would you put more of anything, or is it like? No, I'm pretty just, good the way it. I, I think taste wise, that's very well balanced. Lots of good flavor. Kind of makes my mouth water actually. Yeah. Um, no, I I. Yeah, you know, I know we talked last week with the cocktail we made. We needed to adjust some of the uh, the components there, but no, I think that's 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 very good. As is, I would definitely agree. And if you're interested in obviously the uh, recipe for this drink or anything else, uh, you can find it at our website aboutbeverages.com. Uh, or if you head on over to YouTube, it'll be down in the show notes there as well. You can hit the subscribe button, see all of the other mixed drinks we've been doing as of late. Some autumn themed cocktails that we uh, we. Kind of did a little bit of a, an adjustment to, and then I think we were probably going to adjust it back. <laughs> yes. So uh, some different changes there. Go check all that stuff out. We would be happy to come uh, say hi to you if you hit the subscribe button. That would be super, super cool. Hello. Hello. Uh, if you only want audio, you can always definitely go uh, to Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify. Any of those options are wonderful if you want to get us on the go. Uh, and I uh, can't stand to look at us for 10 or 15 minutes. We totally get that. That is uh, honestly a good thing. I think we sound good, though. The voice is fine. The voice is uh, totally fine. Uh, if you have another podcasting app that you like using, search for About Beverages. We will more than likely be there. Be there excuse me. And if not, uh, let us know and we'll try and get on. <laughs> we'll try and make it easier for you. Uh, and while you're searching, sometimes you find other things, right? You may find links to social media, particularly the three pillars of social media, which for us are TikTok, which is where we found the, well, you found the recipe for this video. That's true. Uh, Instagram and Twitter, which is the one that we use most often to keep you up to date on what is going on here at About Beverages. Like earlier this evening when I tweeted that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash About Beverages, which we do most Thursdays. Yeah. Time varies, but we might be finding a new time here around 4.30 Pacific time. 7.30 Eastern, uh, do the math if you are somewhere else. Um, <laughs> uh, but it's when we get together, try these mixed drinks, and have lots of fun conversation, and uh, just hang out for a little while. Also, throughout the week, Andrew is going to keep you up to date on what he is doing in the gaming world, what he'll be drinking while he is doing that. And uh, so, yeah, for all the latest at About Beverages, please follow us on Twitter. But, as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. <laughs>